Hi, my name is Heather, and today I'm going to show you how to create a customizable digital download for Etsy using template. When you first sign up for template, you will need to make sure that your shop is connected. You'll need to go into settings and integrations. And right here, I have my Etsy shop connected but you'll need to do that when you first sign up. And then once you do it once, you won't need to touch it again. It'll just be set up. The example that I'm going to use today is I'm going to make a very simple coloring sheet for a birthday. This is the drawing that I came up with, just some little kitties and a balloon and a rainbow. And I'm gonna have it where you can put the child's name, up here and then the number for how old they are turning. Now we can go over to template. Once you log in, this is the screen that you're gonna see and you wanna go to design and we're gonna create a new template. So you can either have a single page or like a double-sided page, like if they need to print on both sides. And then these ones are all like different folding. So I'm going to click single. Here's where you set all of your details for the template. So first I'm going to give it a name. Mine is going to be eight and a half by 11 so that it's just a standard sheet of paper and it is horizontal though. So my width is going to be 11 and my height is going to be eight and a half. And then I'll click create. Here is my blank template. The next thing we want to do is bring in the art. So to add the art, we're gonna go to Elements, Upload. So then I'll just click Open. You can add some tags here, which is really just for you in case you need to like search through your different templates. And then we can click Continue. Once you've uploaded the art, then you'll find it over here in the list of elements. So you can just click on it and it'll insert it into your page. And if you want to move it around, you can just click and move it around. And you can also resize it too if you need to. And there's all kinds of other editing options up here, like flipping stuff around and moving some things on top of others and all that kind of stuff. And if you mess up, just click undo up here. To add our text to this design, we can click the text button here. And then we'll click add a heading. And let's bring this up. And then let's type our sample text. And then we want the text box to be wider so that it can fit all of this. I'm going to click out of it and then I'll click it again and I get these little handles that I can pull. And then I want this to be curved text so I'm going to click on this little button right here. And then I'll click arched. This is my arched text. So I'll click this button right here where we can change the radius. I want to make the text bigger. So that's good. And then I do want a different font here. If we click into the font box, we have all of these fonts here, but you can also upload your own font if you want to. I'm going to upload my own. Let's just go ahead and save this. And then I'm going to go to the admin dashboard. I'm going to mouse over this section on the left and I'll click on assets and then fonts. Here are all of my fonts that I've uploaded. So I'm going to add a new one and I'll click add font. And I know that my font is called Trustworthy Colleagues. I'm on a Mac, so I can just go to this search box and start typing trustworthy and then it comes up. It might be different on a Windows. If you're not able to find your font files, then you might have to do a little bit of research and figure out where they're saved on your computer. By the way, if you have a little cloud right here with like a little download thing, then just click it because that means that it's saved in the cloud right now. And so you want the physical file on your computer. So you can do that. Also, if you see a TTF file and an OTF file, then you'll want to use the OTF file because that's the open type font and it just has more features with it. And so that'll just always be the better choice. So go ahead and click on the font and then click open. And you'll need to check this box that says I have the right to use these fonts. 
So if you purchase the font from like a font website, then you'll have the right to use it. But if you downloaded it from somewhere shady, like for free on a free font website or something like that, then it might be questionable. So just make sure that you actually purchased it from somewhere legit, or if you downloaded it from like Google Fonts, then that's good too. So then I'll just click continue. And here is my font right here. And if you click on edit, then you can change the display name that your customers will see. In case you don't want people to know what font you're using, then you can change it right here and then it'll show up as something different in the dropdown for your customers. And then you could just click save after you change that. Now we can go back to our design. So I'm going to click on design and it's going to show up right here under recent. So I'll click on that. And now I can click on the title and click on this font box right here. And I will just look for trustworthy colleagues and there it is. And remember, if you gave it a different name, it's gonna be under that name. So now I have my nice font right here. Maybe I'll make this a little bit bigger. And I think that looks pretty good. And then I can add my five here for the fifth birthday. So I'm going to go to texts, add heading, and I'll make this a five and then I'm going to click away and then click it so I can drag it and I'm going to make this one a lot bigger that's pretty good and then I'll change this also to my trustworthy colleagues font and maybe I'll make it a little bit bigger even one other really cool feature is that you have your layers right here so you can click on that and this shows all of the different elements of your design. You can lock any of the layers that you want to so for example I could click on the coloring sheet art and then I can go up here and click the lock button. And then I can lock selection and lock movement so that way my customers won't be able to select it or move it around. And I like that just because otherwise if they're like clicking on the text and stuff, they might accidentally click on the background and move it around and kind of mess up the design. So this just makes it kind of more fail safe so that the design stays how it's supposed to be. And then I'll just close that out. This is good. So now we can click save. Now we can create the generic version of the coloring page so that if someone doesn't want to customize it and they just want a coloring page they could just print out, then we have a version for that. So to do that, we're going to change the text to something generic. So I'll do welcome to my birthday party and then we can just click outside of it so it curves and then I'll just take the five out of the balloon and I'll just leave it blank. Now I can just do download and I'll download it as a PDF. I'll just leave these options off right here and download. Now I'll just find that file in my downloads and move it over to the other files for my coloring sheet. And then I'm going to rename it to coloring sheet generic. And then I'll just make sure to include that version as a download so that when someone buys it off Etsy, they'll get a generic version they can print out. And now we can go into Etsy and create our listing. So I'm going to go to my Etsy products. Under my Etsy listings, I can click add a listing up here. I need to add a thumbnail photo. If you want to see a video on how I make these thumbnails for my Etsy listings, then you can go ahead and leave a comment and let me know and I'm definitely happy to do that. I'm going to upload that thumbnail by clicking add a photo and I'll select my little thumbnail image. And then I'm gonna fill out my listing details as usual. When you get down to this part right here, you'll wanna select digital instead of physical and this will give you the ability to upload the sample file and it won't require you to mail anything to the customer so everything will just happen automatically and you can go ahead and type in your description i always like to add a little section here about the customization so i just explain that they'll get an email from template with a link to their customizable file and they can download the pdf from template and then I do always mention if you don't feel comfortable making these customizations, then they can email me and I'll send their custom PDF. I also always like to include the terms right here. So where I say all artwork is the property of Heather Cash and thank you for supporting independent artists. And you can even say something like and is for personal use only. 
After you fill this out, the main thing that you'll need to do in order to make template work, add a couple lines here, and you're gonna go back to template, and you want to go to the admin and the dashboard and then you're going to go to assets templates grab this id number right here and you can right click and do copy and then you want to go back to your listing and you're just going to do some square brackets and you're going to do id colon and then paste the number and then a right bracket it'll need to be in that exact format in order for it to work with templates everything else you're going to do the same you'll add your tags and your pricing down here where you get to digital files then you can upload the generic one also, if you make any instructions for it, you can upload those as well because you can upload up to five files. When I make instruction sheets, I usually like to just make them in Google Docs and then export as a PDF. And then you can just click publish and that's it. You're good to go. And this should be connected to the template in template. That's it for my template tutorial. I hope that was helpful. If anything was confusing, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. And if you have any other requests for videos, let me know that too. Good luck with your Etsy shop. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.